If you've been wanting to know how to rotate an image, a canvas, a layer, a piece of text, a shape, or whatever else in Photoshop, then this tutorial is gonna show you how to do it. Let's get started. What's going on friends? My name is Brennan from BeWellCreative.com and on this channel we love to talk about photography, photo editing, and particularly Photoshop. So if that sounds like something that you'd be into, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video. Today we're going to talk about the easiest ways to rotate images in Photoshop no matter what type of layer you are working with. Whether you want to rotate your whole canvas, rotate a single layer, a selection, a piece of text, or a shape, you'll be able to do it with the methods in this tutorial. So with all that said, let's hop into Photoshop and see how it's done. So the first and easiest way that we'll talk about rotating images is for text, shapes, and individual layers. All this will apply the same, and it's with a very simple method called the transform tool. So I'll quickly create a new text layer by pressing T, clicking there, and I'll just add text as my word. And let's say I want to rotate this. If I grab my move tool and I try to rotate it, you'll notice that I just can rescale it. I can't actually twist it or anything like that. So to be able to rotate the text, we'll press Command or Control T with that text layer selected. And now you'll be able to rotate that text when you go around the corners of the transform box. So what you want to be looking for is that little curvy arrow that you see on my screen right now. So you can rotate your text in any direction you'd like. And the way your rotation is anchored is by this point in the middle here. This point can be moved to any location in your transform box, and it's going to change the pivot point of where your text is rotating from. If you go up to the top of your screen here, there is a reference point feature that you can click anywhere on these boxes and notice how it changes where the anchor point sits. So this is a little bit of a faster way to adjust the anchor point if you want to pivot from one corner or another, or you just want to set it back to the center position. You can use this feature right up here, which is only visible when your transform tool is active. Clicking the checkbox to commit to that, I'll just delete this text layer. Let's now say I want to rotate this entire layer. I'll just duplicate this layer so we have a new fresh one to work with. And I'll grab my move tool, and this time I'll once again press Command or Control T to access my transform tool, go up to the corner of the transform box, and I can just rotate that individual layer here by itself. So my other layer is not being affected at all, and it's only rotating that one single layer. You can do that with any type of layer you're dealing with, and this works for text, shapes, layers, selections, or whatever else you need. Now with all that said, let's say I've made a selection somewhere on my image and I want to rotate just that selection area. So to give you an example, I'll just select my marquee tool to create a quick square selection. I'll make a general selection here in the middle of the photo, and right now, with my active selection represented by the marching ants, I could grab my move tool and I can rotate this if I would like, and it's going to change that selection area for me, but the problem is, if I just view the single layer here, you notice that it's just basically cut out that selection and rotated it, leaving a big hole in the middle of the photo. Now this isn't what you want to do when you're dealing with selections because that now makes a permanent adjustment. To give you an example, if I deselect that selection and I now want to reposition this square that we just cut out, I can't do it because it's permanently attached onto the layer. The background and this cutout are basically one piece, so I'm not able to move them individually. Going back and starting fresh again with my selection, what we could do instead is press Command or Control J and it's going to duplicate that selection onto its own layer here, as you can see. Now, when I go to rotate this by grabbing the Move tool, pressing Command or Control T, I can begin to rotate that layer individually, but looking at my Layers panel, it's only rotating that selection, and I can still move it wherever I want. So even when I go and select a different layer, I make some other adjustments, I can still come back to this other selection, reposition it, I can still rotate it, and all of that good stuff, because it's on its own layer. So if you're ever dealing with the selection that you want to rotate, make sure to duplicate it first, otherwise you're going to have a pretty hard time with rotating the image. Now if you ever are working with the brush tool, and this has happened to me all the time, which is why I love Love this tool, but you might find that the angle that you're trying to paint at or make a selection on is just kind of awkward and you wish you could just rotate the canvas, kind of like when you're drawing on a piece of paper and you kind of rotate the paper to get a better angle. What you can do is temporarily rotate the canvas by using something called the rotate tool. By pressing R on your keyboard, you can just click and drag and it's going to temporarily reposition your canvas. So I can rotate this to any angle I'd like. And by letting go, it's going to stay at that angle. But if I exported the photo, it's not going to appear upside down or twisted or anything like this. This rotate tool just gives a temporary 
change of rotation for your image to help you make better selections, get a better angle when you're making a brush adjustment, or things like that. So that's a really helpful tool to remember if you just want to temporarily rotate your canvas or a layer. So now for the final thing, let's say you want to rotate the entire canvas but permanently. So you want everything on your image to be flipped in 90 degrees or 180s or whatever you'd like. The easiest way to do that is just going up to image and down here to image rotation. And then you can select any of these three options here. So if I go to 180, it's gonna flip that image 180 and now we have the photo upside down. And as you can see, our layers are also upside down. So if we went to export this picture, it would look exactly like this. This is an actual permanent adjustment and it's not a temporary thing like it was with the rotation tool. I can pick other options like rotate 90 degrees clockwise to get a different angle. So this is a really easy way to get a different angle on your photo or reposition your entire canvas at once. So that was a handful of easy ways to rotate images in Photoshop, and it all revolves around the transform tool. By using the transform tool, you can press Command or Control T to access that tool. You can pretty much rotate and rescale any image you would like. Then using that anchor point to define where it rotates from is going to be super helpful in the long run. Anyways, guys, that's all I have for you for today. My name is Brendan from BeWillCreative.com, and if you haven't already done so, make sure to hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button so you never miss another video. With that. I'll catch you back here next time for another new tutorial. See you then.